Yoko So and Dosha True YouTube, and welcome to my first video of the single player mod review series. Today we will be looking at the Shogun 2 Realism Plus mod version 1.91, the unit variety mod extended version 2A, Two Socks traditional Japanese music mod, and the Less Gloss mod. You can find all the links to these mods below in the description bar. So, today we will specifically focus our attention on the Shogun 2 Realism Plus mod, and briefly go over the other three mods, because I basically always play with those, no matter which other mods I'm playing, and they're just a nice addition to the game itself. So, this mod is an alternative version of the existing mod, Shogun 2 Realism, and for easiness, let's just call them S2R and S2R Plus. So, like S2R, S2R Plus has the same approach in that it does not try to make a historically accurate modification of Shogun 2, but basically just wants to add some more fun and some challenges to the gameplay itself. So, let me start by showing you some footage of the game. As you can see, it looks all the same, the mod, but uh, on the battle screen, but as you might be able to see, there's some slight changes as the price of the irrigation is 750. 750, and the vanilla version it's 950. Prices have become come different. Recruitment prices have not changed, but some units have received different names. And in earlier versions of this mod. Lone Sword Ashigaru were unlocked in the campaign, and Naginata Ashigaru were unlocked, but these have been disabled due to the upcoming PDLC, I think. I'm sure you can read more on that on the homepage of the mod itself. So yeah, let's just get started, do some gameplay, and you can see what it looks like. Uh, here a major change I find is that the equal fields research also provides food and like the equals field research you got the um, market and the rice exchange which also provides food because in the vanilla version it does not make sense to build a rice exchange because you actually lose money instead of making money so this mod fixes that problem by making the rice exchange provide food. So yeah, let me gather my army and let's go attack. I'm just gonna grab my general, go here and give that a quick save just in case. And let's head right in. So as you should be able to see, I'm also play playing with the unit variety mod, which changes the looks of Ashigar units, the Nodachi samurai units, some samurai units I think as well, and uh, should all over look like a nicer game. Also the unit sizes have changed and increased with the Shogun 2 Realism Plus mod. The morale has increased significantly. I think a katana samurai has somewhere between 30 and 40 morale. I'm sure we can look at that in a minute. And um, units perform significantly better in battle. And you basically can't just route an Ashigar unit as fast as you could in the vanilla version. And it actually takes quite a lot. And. Um, Cav units are huge now, but yeah, let's let's just let's just wait for the loading screen to finish, and you will see for yourself. So something else I really like about this mod is the difficulty added because I've played. I, I I'd consider myself a fairly good single player player, and. I've played quite a few campaigns, and with this mod, it's actually happened that as to Uesugi, I've played, I think it was seven rounds, and I got destroyed by the AI just because I was 
playing vanilla style. I wasn't playing carefully enough and I got ripped apart by the AI. Diplomacy has improved, they are more realistic, and yeah, let's just let this speech run so you can hopefully see some unit variety mod. Here you can see some nice examples. ここが我が軍の生命線。ここを破られたら勝利への希望は絶たれる。織田の軍旗が目障りだ。あの旗文字ども地獄へ落ちろ。あの旗は不名誉の象徴だ。よいか。我らは今日の徳川軍の優勝
So right now it's some Yara Shigaru against some archers, and as you see, the Bo Ashigaru are not as bad anymore in melee combat as they used to be. And I think this is actually due to the fact that, as you can see, the Bo Ashigaru are using katanas and the Yari guys are using their spears. So the Bo Ashigaru indeed have the sword advantage. But now they are running after having sustained quite a bit, but surprisingly taken a lot of my men. I forgot to charge in here. And here you see a 75 cab force. Charging into his general hopefully makes some damage. I don't necessarily want to bring my my cab into the Yari charge. And something I find has improved is the the retreating and the attempt at bringing on new charge. As you can see, the Yari Ashigaru have ratted, have holed up significantly longer than you would expect any other unit in the vanilla version. And yeah, I think 75 cav units is just a massive, massive addition compared to, I think it was the 45 light cav. or the 60 yard yeah oh and let me show you some stats armor for the yari Ashi, uh, for the bow ashigaru is 8 morale is 12 now not much else has changed the general's armor i think has gone up the yari ashigaru morale has gone up and here the yari samurai morale has gone up significantly so as you can see, there's a huge difference now between being a Samurai unit and the Yari, or an Ashigar unit. And for that reason, the, the difference between the two types of units has become more important on the battlefield. That most definitely was not my best battle. You can head over to uh, Gamer Dootster's YouTube channel where you can see some beautiful single player campaign commentaries and some multiplayer clan competition commentaries with some games with me in them where I played a lot better than what I just showed here. And yeah. So I'll stop recording here to keep the video fairly small and thank you for watching. And remember to comment, thumbs up, and subscribe, and peace.